Hello, it's Lady and the Frogs here. I am going to be doing, finally doing this Grand Hotel that I've got here, this Friends Lego. So this is some of the Lego that I picked up from a Jumble Trail just two weeks ago, but it's been sat here and I need to get it sorted because this one is going to, I'm going to be able to resell this one on my business account for around the £75 region. I'm hoping, well, I'll, I'll wait for £75. I'm pretty sure that I can get it. It is the summer holidays, people are bored. Parents will take their children to Legoland or the Discovery Centres and they'll be horrified in the shops at the prices that these things are at. So good chance that I'll be able to sell these things on. And then Christmas is coming and I've paid £5 for all this stuff and I had three sets which I've got here that I haven't put together yet either but I've put two of the sets together that I've had and put them on but I need to get this one listed well the first thing I'm going to do is build it as it's seen there because when you're listing things on eBay if you just put a pile of Lego and this next to it people don't believe that it's complete so you do have to check it so with this if you have the instructions, I build a lot of my stuff um, using online instructions, which you can either get from lego.com, toys period, or Bricklink. Well, not, not the instructions from Bricklink unless you want to pay for them. But these have the inventory in the background, in the back pages of these. So this is all the pieces that I'm expecting to find. Um, and although... So what I have here, let me knock, knock Ziggy over. So I've got most of the bits here and a lot of the modular pieces, well like the car is complete and a lot of the modular pieces are done. So that's the revolving door. I've got a fountain you know, the table setting, I've got that, I've got, a, I've got a piano that's done. However, I'm going to have to bust all of this up because I just don't know what I've got here. I've got a bedroom there, so I've got that module that's done because these will all be built in modules. That's the top of the thing, swimming pool, another modular bedroom. Which has also got the umbrella that's supposed to be upstairs. Uh, part of the lift, I think that is. Uh, it's also got like random hair in it. The lobby with keys. And other bits. And then obviously lots of loose Lego. So I'm going to have to break it all up. You know, even, you know, sadly things like the car and the, the piano. I'm going to have to break it all up and just do the inventory for my own sanity. Um, and another thing I'm going to do for my own sanity, because sometimes it's not entirely clear what the colours are in these inventories. So I, I have got it all here on Bricklink. So Bricklink will always, if you click on, so on this one, let me come out there. So if you put in 4110 for this it'll come up with the page with the details of it there so that's what it looks like but there is a bit on here where it says you won't let me zoom in not today no not today not now that we're doing a video so it says there item consists of a hundred uh, 1531 parts and then if you click on that, it's only got five minifigures as well, according to this. That's a bit slim pickings. And worryingly, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten minifigures sat here. So that means I've got more sets than I realise. So all of the pieces graded by colour are on here. When I'm doing modern sets, I use Bricklink. When I'm doing vintage ones, I tend to use Toys Period because it's just slightly better 
when it comes to if i didn't have the instructions for this like for example this set that i've got here i haven't got the instructions for so on that one i because it's in the last decade or so i can go on i can actually go on to lego's website and get that um get that downloaded so i can build that one so it's not even a problem and when i've sold these on ebay I've always declared that the instructions aren't there and you can download them from the internet. And nobody's ever, like I said, nobody's ever had a problem with that. And nobody's ever asked me to send them over, even though I, I probably just would, because if they couldn't work out how to download it, I'd just do it for the sake of customer service. But it's, not, it's never happened so far. So anyway, I am going to go through on here. Well, I'm going to go through on there and then probably double check on here if I'm not quite sure of the actual shade, because it's like that's this lavender brick. And sometimes the colors that they have in the brochures, they just don't, you can't tell what it is. There's various shades of pink with Friends Lego as well. So it's not entirely obvious sometimes what the color is. So I'm gonna do this inventory now. It's very extensive, <laughs> but it needs to be done so that I know that I've done it right because I don't want to just like half ass put it together and then sell it and then somebody's like, this piece is missing, this piece is missing. So all of these things are going to get busted up and I'm going to do the inventory properly. And then hopefully I'm going to work out why I've got all of these other spares here because these minifigures must belong to somebody else. just to make it easier so these are single studs these are all sort of smooth edged pieces uh, which include these ones because they're smooth and these ones even though they've got a spot in the middle um, a stud in the middle they're still smooth and then I've got smooth things and other printed items there a few bits of technics there which will also overlap into there because these are sort of like hinges and brackets and things and then i've got a small amount of greenery these are all uprights and posts and wall sections including uh, glass windows and other windows and doors and then those are the sort of like gate bits uh, wheels, anything that's arched or a sloped brick, those are what you call them, Gri grills, and then various unusual pieces here, including the taps, which I should have a better place for them. Again, they're with the sort of like arched bits, then grooved bricks and what do you call these? I don't know. What do I call them? I don't know what I call them. <laughs> um, yeah, so like circular sort of stud bits and then singular bricks. All of my flat bits, which are here. There's two, two um, flat pieces and anything that's a corner piece is there. And then they're just bricks. 
and more plates there and then of course sundry bits over there so now i can get on with doing this inventory um, and hopefully be able to just rattle this up quite quickly <laughs> All pieces are now checked and there was a few that were missing. Um, annoyingly, this was obviously one of the things that had been knocked off and this was missing. So I've got that out of my spares and then there was a few studs that were missing but I had them in my spares. So I'm completely, well I'm complete, I've got all the pieces that I need so I'm going to put this together now. The only problem that I've got is this suitcase has a split on it so it doesn't although it fits together it's in two pieces when it opens up but there are these pink suitcases as well so all in all a good buy for five pounds <laughs>